It was a poker hand, Matt won. So if they were just counting up the the face of the die, people people do that shit, and I'm just like, just do a fucking high roll. Like whenever somebody offers you, that, you or know what though? A poker hand, there's always a winner, always. But if you do a high roll, you both roll seven. Now you both roll ten. Now you both roll three. Like, dude, like it's actually better. It's actually better. Higher, like, it, do odds and evens. Do something sure. that makes it where you're only rolling one time, is what I say. That's fine, but the, the, the times that you don't roll one time, it's only going to be one more time. And it's no, that's not true. I've rolled the same thing like four times in a row before. <laughs> you just fucking rolled you're just You're just pissed because you don't know how poker hand works. Like, <laughs> I mean, I'm not work. familiar with poker, sure. That, that's fine, but like, it just seems... It seems fucking superfluous, man. Like, it just seems unnecessary. Uh, I, I'm super down for odds or evens. I'm down for that all day. That's Anywho. basically what they did. They, they did a thing where we're only going to roll one time and then we'll know who the winner is. Yeah. Yeah. Unless we roll exactly the same five dice the same way, which is pretty unlikely. Yeah, I do not like the poker hand thing. Because I'm unfamiliar with poker. Oh, that's the best way to do it. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's the best way to do it. I'm just taking odds or odd evens. All right, th there we go. I, I have just decided odds or evens is yeah. going to be my yeah. thing. It's a simplistic approach. It is, because I don't give a shit about uh, poker. So, <laughs> weird, weird thing here. Metal Hume, definitely not playing mono red burn because he has a sacred foundry, but I see no white in, it, in his hand. I mean, every burn deck is basically Boros at this point, so. Yeah. I could see some budget mono red burn. I think it could be good. I mean, it'd be fine, but you just never see it because it's not that much. They have the thing that budget. deals like <laughs> four damage to each player or whatever. Now I think that that can kind of. Yeah, you see that here or there. It's not. I the feel worst. like it. I think you could make it work on a budget. You could, but I, shock I've lines just, are expensive, man. I've just never seen it. I've never seen anybody actually play budget burn because it's not that expensive. So no one has any reason to play budget burn. I did it once, so just, yeah. back, I did. It's, been, it's been a while. It's been a few years. I, I didn't. Played, I mean, I I played budget burn back in the day. I played mono red burn, like because I didn't I didn't want to pay for fetches and shocks. And <laughs> that, that, that was there was a time when I did that. So, um, right. so Matt's got the yeah. inevitable hand. Matt's of... deck looks terrible. Like. <laughs> Uh, is, it, is it too early? Is it too early to say this? I mean, Matt if he, just like I don't even know how he's gonna do. If he doesn't die, he will kill. He can do fifteen to his opponent, and it won't be good enough. We'll see. We'll see what cards Hume plays. I I don't I I'm not <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what yeah. I assess this deck as. It is. I thought it was fucking... a an, a magic online meme. Is what I thought it was. No, it's a, it's a thing. It's not good though. This deck's not good. You don't feel I like, don't think it's if I you, don't know. If you I if you know. play a deck, if you like because I know you like the brew, if you're playing a deck and you lose the calibrated blast, you're making wholesale shit like this isn't good enough. Right? <laughs> like th this is unacceptable. Probably. <laughs> this I is mean, this is not acceptable. The thing that I've been working has ley lines, so I have a good cushion against this deck. I, the only thing I'll say for this deck is it is it is more consistent than I would have given it credit for. It's very matchup dependent, you know. Um, All right, there's two. There's two. Yeah, I mean, if he fetches and shocks, he's dead. I don't think that's gonna happen, though. I think I don't. Yeah, we don't know, though. I mean, really, we don't know. No, this deck is this deck is cute and is more consistent than it should be. As a cute deck, because it is, it is pretty cute, really. But its consistency is kind of silly. Oh, not getting the goblin guy down here. I don't love that. So what did he do? He just played two burn spells instead of doing yeah. one burn spell and a goblin guide, because the goblin guide is going to represent four damage over two turns, whereas the burn spell gets an extra damage in this turn, but like it's less damage over right. the two turns. So don't love that. Um. You actually could have gotten like I think three extra damage in over the course of two turns. 
which could be huge. Now, if Matt can't do anything here, like it doesn't even matter. Like, what are you doing, Matt? What are you doing? Does he have the card? Is that the card? It's a card that gets to the card. Right, it's, it's a cascade card. Okay. So, I mean, we'll see. Okay. So, text for Now, it'll be funny. Reveal a Sakenzin. Yeah, reveal trigger. Why are you just... Goblin Guide. Yeah, okay. That's a stupid card. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So I assume the Cascade thing is four mana? Yeah. So what would have been funny there is if he got him got attack trigger, reveal his Kenzin, oh, put it in his hand. It's the, the fucking the thing that the common goblin land. Mm. It makes two two twos from channel it. Or two makes mm. two one one from channel mm. it. I, well he was a, he was a one mana short. Yeah. It's a funny interaction though. Yeah, hypothetically. Where it could potentially of your, give yeah, you yeah, dudes, like if you had know. one more mana and he attacks, reveal the card for it in his hand, and channel it. That would have been hilarious. All right, so he's sideboarding for this match. I know Matt's been aware of how bad this is for him. Um, so we missed what he's bringing in, unfortunately. I, I got to say, though, I played Middle Hume last week, and uh, this dude's rustier than I am. Uh, he he last week he told me he hadn't played magic in like two years. No, it's been a while, dude. Yeah, it's been yeah, a long he, he time. He literally hadn't played magic in two years. So with that said, thank you for coming out and playing. Maybe yeah, absolutely absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Thanks for coming out. We appreciate you. Yeah, and he, he's he's back uh like he had uh Yeah. Uh, he, he, he's doing these on no sleep. He, he like he comes in like a guy who just like burned three like joints before he came in, yeah. but really he just hasn't had sleep because he he, he works like yeah no, all and day and like I think that, I think that he's coming into these things with basically like he's been up for like twenty three hours or something like <laughs> yeah. yeah so yeah. so like he's like a walking zombie when he comes into these things but uh, I, I appreciate him coming out and like sure. I, I think he's for excited sure. to get back to playing too so that's good. And this is a pretty decent match for him, you know, because it is, it's hard for, I'm not sure what they bring in for this. Matt just cut like a bunch of cards and brought in one card. What's he doing? I don't know. I, a bunch of, I mean, I think the deck's like so many lands, it's kind of silly. Did I miss something? Like, you can't cut four cards and bring in one card. That's not how magic works. I must have missed something. Must he must have brought in some cards before he cut those lands? It's kind of weird though what I just saw. So Matt needs to lead with two deserts. Deserts? You play a desert. What desert? Oh, just desert. The, the card? desert. The, 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 yeah. The, okay. And why is that? Because then he can kill the things attacking you. Does he have to sack a land to do that? No, des the original desert just does a damage to an attacking creature. So if he can lead with two deserts. Mm. You can kill whatever is attacking it. Mm. <laughs> yeah. That's As, not, assuming that it's a goblin guy. That's like a fucking 5% chance, yeah. yeah. Assuming, just, assuming it's a saying, goblin I'm guy, exactly, because the other thing is not going to die. No, no, for sure. I mean, depending on what your opponent does, you know. Because if he has two deserts and he attacks... Yeah, it's probably bullshit. That's no. not really a thing. I'm just, I don't I'm think just he should be playing desert. I'm just hypothetically spitballing nonsense. <laughs> I 100% think he should not be playing desert. No, no, they're not that bad. They're, they're really not, not that, that bad. They're they're not that kill, that good. They kill monkeys. They so? kill the fuck out of a monkey. <laughs> so? I'm just saying. Uh, uh, I, don't think, I don't think that it was that bad. Yeah, um, they, this is just a pretty shit match for him. In general, like it's yeah. just it's just not good. I don't think his deck's real. I like I I hate to be the guy that's gonna be like <laughs> telling it like it is, but the truth is, I feel like calibrated. Like he he's talking about playing this in Columbus. I mean that's fine. You and I can like hey, that's cool, Matt. You and I can go get beers. You know, well, like, I mean I think that's part yeah, of his, his you're, rationale. You're, you're, you're gonna will. scrub out early, and I'll you know I'll probably be undefeated, but I'll scrub out too because I want to drink beers. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's how it goes. <laughs> I, I get it. It's cool. I just got to find some solitudes and... All right. Yeah, put that stupid ass hammer. That card's bad. You can't even cast that in this deck. No, you're not supposed to. You're supposed to just reveal it. 
Ah, trust me, I, I hate I hate how this thing operates just as much as you. I don't hate but the way it operates. I just I don't will, think it's a good deck. That's I will. All. I will give, give it its consistency. That's all I'll give it. What are the other colors for? I don't even know. Like, what are you doing here? I don't think there is any reason for the other colors. That card's not scary. That card is old school as fuck and completely outdated. Yeah. I love that card. Yeah. Grim Lava Mancher for anybody. You know, to me, this is, it. like, you've heard me do it. I go, I, I gush about Vintage Cube from time to time. This is one of the reasons I love Vintage Cube, because if it weren't for Vintage Cube, this card would be unplayable. But you know what? Vintage Cube, the mono red deck of Vintage Cube, this is a sweet card. You yeah. know, like it's 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 totally it, it has a home there. Yeah, it might might see playing Legacy these days. I don't know. Le Legacy, it makes more sense to me that Legacy probably yeah. could play this card. Yeah. A lot more shit. It's ends a up fucking in sweet card. It really is a sweet it card. It is, Very man. It's just, is a good fucking, it's just it's slow. A cool card. It, it is fucking dies to everything and yeah. And a Ren and Six world. Another card lost to Ren and Six. Yeah, yeah. It's. it's I mean, it was probably lost before then, but. I mean, anything that has to tap, really, is what's been lost, basically. All right, well, he's not doing enough damage to himself, so that's kind of fucked. <laughs> that's really what this comes down oh, to. Oh, this is your the opponent, deal of damage to you, Desert. Your opponent has to do five damage to himself, and that's the real weakness of this deck. Because if they don't... Yeah, he's over here playing Buddy win. Lands. The burn deck playing Buddy Lands. How, how do you ever win... <laughs> if this was legit burn, he might have a shot. Yeah. But like against the Buddy Land burn deck, ugh. Which it's kind of funny because like there's nothing wrong with Buddy Lands and burn. Really, yeah, there kind of is, man. You don't want lands that could potentially at any time come in tapped. And the fuck would they? If when you, you, when you keep a one land hand of a Buddy Land, yes. So don't keep that hand. So so you're playing Buddy Land. You're not playing any other non mountains. So you're not playing the 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 uh, Horizon Land. You're not playing Fast Lands. Like, yeah, I, yeah, you, I it can't depends, imagine. It depends on the mana base. It depends on exactly what you're doing. I mean, I just think it's the worst mana. I mean, it's fine. It's just... it. it I think it would be fine. It, it, it just it depends. Oh, he, he's, he's, playing, he's playing all this other shit so we can cast that. He's mono red, but he's playing all these other colors so he can actually cast that weird ass thing. Yeah, that the he just Sion and Draco. Yeah, that's yeah. that's uh, that thing. Sion and Draco. This this deck sucks. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, like, hey, I'm not. Look, I'm I'm not like, I'm not trying to be that guy, and I'm not that guy. Are you not? No, no, I'm not that guy. No, I'm not that guy. Like, look, I, I'm being. Like, totally, totally honest here. Okay, now he wins. Okay. Hey, proof of concept. Look at that. Proof of concept. And... There's that. And we go to game three. This is game three, right? Yes. I'm not doing a good job of keeping up with this. Yeah, it's okay. I don't think anyone expects us to. <laughs> All right. So, Metal Hume, fucking dead. On to game three. All right. And Matt thought this was a bad matchup. Come on. I mean, it's not the best matchup. But it could just happen. Maybe it's a deck with the... So, here's the thing. In general, Middle Hume has an inferior mana base for what I think that Burn should yeah, be. Yeah. However, for this matchup, he's got a superior mana base because <laughs> he's dealing less damage to himself yeah. with the lands that he's playing. So for this particular matchup, it's a win. I, f I feel like it's a win. And uh, I got to give it to Middle Hume here in game three. I feel like he's going to pull this one out. We although, shall see. Although... Um, I've noticed this with the Humes. Um, they've played Burn for a while. They've always been kind of afraid of Eidolone. Like, it deals damage to me. Like, come on, man. Eidolone's a fucking house. 
Like, I get that burn players can lose to their own Eidolon, but yeah. the, the truth of the matter is that Eidolon is what makes burn playable. No, Eidolon is huge, man. It, it's, it's, it's like a huge, huge piece of the puzzle. Yeah, no, it, they, need, they need it for sure. Hmm. More different sideboarding things from Matt? Fuck you, Matt Weiss. Like, seriously, calibrated blast. Come on, dude. <laughs> Come on. Come on. It's fine. It's he's fine. gonna. It's he's fine. about to no. get a win. It's gonna and be everybody. Okay. Everybody listening knows. Everybody listening knows that like former Invitational champion Matt Weiss is my dude. Like, I love that dude. But come on, man. <laughs> Fucking get out of here with this shit. I'm being respectful, but fuck you, dude. Like, get out of here. Get out of here with this. You can do better. I, like, play your. God, all of his decks are so bad. I don't even know what you could play. Like some artifact thing that I hate instead. Uh, Affinity would be the, the real. Affinity, yeah, yeah. I, I, mean, I, respect, I respect like that dice factory thing that he does. It's just like, oh. yeah. Dude, no, if he play like like if he plays in the five hundred next week and and uh, thank you for uh, thank you. Yeah, I agree. Scape Grace Seven. Yeah, Matt refuses to play Magic. He refuses. <laughs> He's a coward. Yeah. He's a coward. Uh, I mean, it's a kind but, uh, of th Thank you to uh, Thomas Books. He's going to do coverage with me next week at the 500, so I don't have to play. Um, and uh, I'm sure all the other players appreciate that, Tom, that you're helping me out with that. So they have a chance now. Just saying. <laughs> Shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this thing with like this deck with Matt, like yeah, no, it's it's fine. For no, what, I agree, man. Matt, what he's Matt done. sits down. He's like, I want to engage in Magic: The Gathering by sitting down, shuffling my deck, drawing seven cards, and playing with my cock in so, front of my opponent. Dude, that's the, the problem, though. He plays. Like, he's a combo player. That's what he does. That's what they do. Dude, that's what magic is becoming, and that so it's not exclusive to him as a problem. Like no, that's what I, the I environments I, I have are no becoming. I, I have no problem. With that. Like he, he's just a combo player, and that's what combo players do. They, they, they like to. They like to play their little solitaire game over there. and So much of magic is becoming more and more unfair that you can't blame somebody for playing anything. No, and honestly, no. the, guy, the guys that try to play fair magic like me. Do we get shit on? I get shit on all the time because I just want to play fair magic. And so when I'm trying to play fair magic, the entire room is playing bullshit. Like, we're the ones that fucking get shit on. <laughs> you know? Control players I mean, and guys that try to play fair magic are the ones that get fucking shit on with all the know. nonsense that's out there. And control it's, control basically is fair magic. No, yeah, control is fair yeah, magic. It's it's not it's yeah, it is fair magic. It is fair. Uh, um we have more and more of this shit to contend with, and that's what's frustrating. Is like guys like me, you play control, I play fucking just value. Like we're trying to play fair magic, and the the way the game was intended, the way Richard Garfield intended this game to be played, we're playing this game. And as they print cards more and more, we get more shit like oh, this. Yeah, Richard Garfield thought that we were gonna play on concrete with whatever we had. He he didn't he didn't foresee constructed magic. Like he never. For he never foresaw that. Did, did he miss his draw step? Yeah. No, I think Matt just cheated the draw with his stupid gemstone oh, thingy. That's right. Stupid gemstone thingy. Yeah, yeah. Gemstone. It, it's fucking good. It's a good card. Yeah, no, it's. There was at one point when I swore the gemstone. Jesus, are we like just replaying the last game? Uh, gem, <laughs> gemstone was, I thought, just the most criminally underplayed card and in, in modern it's because it's so easy just to jam one in your deck right like it, yeah for sure you can just steal you can just steal a, a play yeah it doesn't take much really just having one it's just there so does matt have the nuts uh yeah he's gonna calibrate it by is that thing an instant I think I it's an I'm instant. I'm pretty sure it's an instant, yeah. Yeah. Alright. So calibrate a blast. I'm gonna take 15, most likely. Could be less. Talk to you.
And then is it draw. Too, little too late? I mean, he could just top deck the thing. Or does he have the thing? Let's see hands at this point. He's got a sign of Draco. He should be able to cast. I don't think he can cast it yet. He's he's only got two colors. Yeah, he's ways away from that. Okay. I feel like the sign of Draco is just kind of a trash card. I. Right I feel like Darcy is a trash card in burn. Oh my god, he's got no damage here. I think Darcy... He can, he can do... He's... Oh my god. This is this is catastrophic for Metal Hume. He has to, like... Okay, he can do this to get two damage through instead of one, but, like, he's doing nothing on the board here. I hate Darcy in burn decks. I, I hate Darcy. I, I think Darcy is kind of overrated. No, it's... I wouldn't say that it's overrated. It's, I just, I, it's kind of overrated. I hate... Oh, oh, oh shit. Game changer. Game changer. <laughs> Get fucked, burn. <laughs> I got this thing. Yeah, he's dead. Flashback. Calibrated last. You are dead, Metal Hume. Deader than fuck. Whatever he reveals, you are toast. <laughs> oh. Well, okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so Never wait, mind. You so can reveal Calibrated that. Calibrated blast re reveals itself. It can. It's not what's, super often. What a fucking terrible deck, dude. This, <laughs> this deck is like trash. So the next one is definitely going to kill him. Definitely. But he didn't have a next one. Like he. He's an did, Didn't he cast this from his graveyard? Yeah, I mean, it, he could. He could it, draw another one or draw. Oh the... wait, isn't this one exiled? Yeah, it should be. Isn't that oh, exiles? Okay. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Did you get there? No. What did you play against? Uh, Amal Clayton. Oh. Android Crisis in the main. Oh, uh, yeah. Was I was like... Yeah, that is Also, pretty... I got pretty hardly variants in both games. I had Mold 5, Fine Lands. Yeah, yeah and then and that, is, three, that is three rough. Games, game two. Uh, I was just sitting there like, fuck, I can't do anything. Yeah. Dress Down's really good against Oh, yeah, I brought it in. Yeah. Yeah, that's a rough I match for sure. A, I brought in two Dress Down, two Full Nerd Mage, and the Thought Seasons. Yeah. Full Fulminator Mage is kind of blah because it's kind of hard to take them off land. Yeah, I know. It was just, it was just there for Balakut. Yeah, yeah. Something. yeah. Yeah, I think it's important enough. It also is. Pressure. Did you? Did you? Did you uh, well, so the the game plan against them, what you should bring in, it's not like you don't think about it exactly right away. But what you bring in against them are the two Thoughtsies mm -hmm. and the three Douthies. Really, just for the aggro. No, because you play Douthy, and then you thought sees their Titan, you play a Titan. <laughs> uh, I like that. Yeah, that's that, pretty yeah, good. It, you win a lot of games. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it, it doesn't like immediately click. No, that, that just feels but, off. Yeah, yeah. but no, I just think of you bring it because like they can't block it, so you're putting a clock on. But then if you draw your thought sees, you then just, you, you just take your Titan. Them. It's exiled. You you, you play that they're you, playing you, around with the counter spells yeah, that you in their hand the whole time. Yeah, that's great. All right. It's a hard deck. I think play. Matt's probably it dead. Fun. It's fun though. I, I, oh, I, it's fun. I, I love control. I love classic control. Matt's not dead, and he's activating Ramona. Yeah, get rid of the other desert. <laughs> oh my God, is he gonna win off Ramona? He's gonna win off Ramona. Oh right Jesus now, Christ! Right? <laughs> Jesus fucking <laughs> Christ! Know, upkeep, he wins what are what are we watching? Uh, what is this Ramana. nonsense? Let's go, Matt. We're back in standard. standard. Jesus you know fucking Christ! I played, uh, <laughs> What was it? What was that set called? The uh, Almond Cat. Uh, or Hour Devastation. Hour de I played Hour Devastation. One or two. I, uh, that was pretty I, sweet. I lost Isaiah in the league finals. You round. You the deserts are fucking sweet. They are. They are super sweet. Oh man! See, there you go. Got a got a win from Matt White. Damn. Just wacky kind of rate of last deck, which Damn. again is way more consistent than you would think oh, it God, should yeah, be. Definitely. It's, it's right. silly. So I'm sorry, everyone, that we made you suffer through this terrible deck that Matt Wise decided to play. <laughs> um, it's Matt Wise, man. It's uh, by the skin of his teeth, indeed, deck, Tom. By the skin of his fucking dude, teeth. It's so it's so stupid. So he's playing like like a single kind of, fifteen drop. That was. He's playing. There's a bunch of shit he's in there. He's playing fifteen drops, but he's also playing the twelve. The the sign. He's playing Draco. fifteen, oh. thirteen, twelve cast. drops. Because he's got, like, fetch lands to go get, like, dual lands and stuff. But he's also playing a bunch of deserts. So, like, he drew a sign of Draco earlier. <laughs> he couldn't cast it. No, he had, like, five lands in play, but only 
two land types represented. So, like, he was nowhere close to being able to cast it. Oh, man. I like it, though. I it, love it. Yeah, oh, this deck is trash. It's a good fit for Matt. Oh, it's yeah. fine. Yeah, the like, desert is especially good when you hit someone for 15, you have to do six damage. <laughs> like, you just hit three deserts. There you go. Yeah. It, it's, it's a Matt deck. It's definitely it's a Matt deck. It's a Matt deck, for sure. He plays it well, I think. He's yeah, he does. He's probably the best at it. <laughs> <laughs> I there's a lot of competition. Yeah. It's goofy. It's fucking goofy. But it, it does fit, Matt. All right, so that was round one. We got to see this calibrated blast. That was round two. Was it round two already? Yeah, it was, was round two. two. Jesus round Christ. Two. That's how absorbed we, we got. We, we lose track of time at 10 o'clock. We do. But it's, it's now 11.30, which is really how you know. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we'll All be right. back. We'll be back. We'll we'll see. We're going to try not to show emulate.